This update from police is they are interviewing people in her case and seeking a suspect. Brad? Jenna, thank you. New at 9, sifting through the rubble in River West. Yesterday's huge fire didn't just destroy an auto body shop, it erased part of the art community. A number of artists lived and worked in that building. Our right, Derricka Williams here with their stories tonight. Derricka? You know, that's right. Some of the work lost in that building spans the country and even the globe. There were two major galleries affected, and artists were actually preparing for an upcoming exhibit. Some literally had everything they owned inside that building. For artwork, which is sensitive materials, um, it's pretty much expected that none of that will have survived. Artists like Sarah Delayden lost their workspace and homes. The galleries and apartments were connected to Joe's Auto Repair, the building that went up in flames. Well, it was really a unique incubator and an important one for the Milwaukee arts community. It's here in River West, which is a huge um, tradition and contemporary culture of art production. The artists pride themselves in diverse cutting-edge paintings, sculptures, and drawings. The work created in this building has become a fabric of River West and influence across the world. Now, their passion and work can only be seen online. These were really kind of the movers and shakers in the art world. The monetary amount of what was lost. That we're looking at like a half million dollars of people's stuff. Doesn't even compare to the intrinsic value. The kind of intense number of labor hours an artist puts into doing their work. But then, you know, think additively about entire research space. You know, it's all that work added up collectively that actually makes an idea set that that artist is forwarding. Um, and to just have that destroyed, you have to completely start over. Now, more than 20 artists will begin with a blank slate in more ways than one. Art is a person too. You know, art is a little piece of everybody's soul and it's all gone. <laughs> so it's tough. Many organizations in the city have come together for relief efforts and fundraisers. It wasn't just the work that was lost. Some artists don't even have the access to the basic everyday necessities. So if you'd like to help them out, head to fox6now.com. As for the fire investigation, thankfully everyone made it out of the building okay. Officials are still looking into the exact cause, but they believe it started in the gas tank of an automobile that was being serviced in the repair shop. Brad and Ann. A uh, Fox 6 investigation getting international attention. And getting action here at home. You don't lock children up. You help them. A boy locked in a box at school. Fox 6 exposed the extreme punishment tonight.